Hey, stars from 13 Stars, especially the fans of The Woman in the Window. Today is a sad day for who is joining me in this reading because there are not so many happenings in our plot. However, there are plenty of revelations. Well, and sad revelations, by the way. We read until chapter 78 and we figure out that unfortunately that accident that happened 10 months ago the one that had opened the doors for Anna's agoraphobia killed both Ed and Ollie yeah guys they are dead they are dead Anna was left behind alone in her life. Uh, the conversations that she had mm, among them, like Anna and Ed and Anna and Ollie, these conversations just happen in her mind. She is still in the process of denial about the happenings, okay? However, Little talked to Dr. Fieldings, who explained him the whole story about the happenings and the consequences of the accident, okay? Uh, it was a very embarrassing moment because everybody was at Anna's place, everybody, I mean, rally. The, the, Detective Little, that seems to be a very nice person, okay? I was right since the beginning. Alistair, that was the one who rang the bell to fetch um, Ethan back, because Ethan, I don't know why, Anna hosted him there, and he was he's taking part of all this mess, okay? The four of them plus Anna were there. Ah, by the way, David arrived in all this mess. David arrived back from Connecticut, and I ended up saying that he had been arrested some months ago, and that she, she thinks that he can be the only one who could have entered in her house, took the picture of hers, sent by mail, and she says about the earrings that she saw on the night chest. Oh, it was a mess that moment, okay? But everybody was there, and everybody listened to Lito's and Norelli's words, because Lito was explaining in a kind of way. However, Norelli interrupted him and said, they're both dead, in a very rude and unkind way. The fact is that now everybody agrees that Anna is hallucinating, okay? I don't know you. I'm not going to open my heart now. However, among the characters of the novel, full stop, crystal clear, that Anna is hallucinating because she's been taking medicine, she drinks a lot, she has seen a murder across uh, the street, okay, by her window, a murder that there is no victim because Jane Russell is pretty well, and she's saying that a woman that nobody else knows, nobody else has seen, is murdered, okay? This is the fact. Uh, as I said, no many, no, no many happenings, okay, in the course of it. Uh, obviously, she feels completely depressed. I mean, depressed, depressed after it, okay? She starts thinking about, like, the goal of her life. She doesn't have any friends. She doesn't have any family, okay? And to finish this terrible plot, this terrible lines that we read this week, we have, uh, we got to know that her lover, the one who unchained all these mass of happenings, was Wesley, her her partner, okay, the psychiatrist that used to work with her, the one who taught her everything, okay? Remember that last discussion we mentioned that in a Monday morning she woke up feeling like talking to him and she called her, she called him, however, a Phoebe answered and said that he would return. He didn't return, but he returned here in chapter 78 and in this return, uh, they opened their hearts for each other, and Anna said, I'm not blaming you. However, I would like to know that it was your phone call that started all the mess. That, that was the final uh, drop of water for all that happened. Uh, Wesley, in a very cold way, said, I'm sorry, in the last 10 months, I've been trying successfully okay, to overcome it, and I'm doing it. 
please do not call me again. <sighs> okay? And um, hang it up on his face. Okay? And she seems extremely sad. Okay? These were the happenings of those pages. However, we got into the last third of the book. Somebody had entered in her house or was she hallucinating? Guys, we still have about 80 pages to the end of the novel or more, I don't know. And I don't think uh, this storyline will be closed like this, okay? And there is a very interesting sentence in the back cover that says, it isn't paranoia if it's really happening. Anna is sure that all the things that she's been describing here, I mean, uh, the get-together with Jane Russell, the original one, uh, the email that she received, okay, she really believes that this is happening. I don't think it's only paranoia, okay? Unless there will be a plot twist that will amaze us, okay? However, I guess these last thirds of the novel, from chapter 79 to the end, they will uh, bewilder us, but they will amaze us as well. Let's keep together. Next week, we are going to be together with the next discussion of this amazing novel that will soon be a motion picture, okay? Let's keep being together. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like the video. See you next time.